So you know, you've seen this video and initially what appears is cars are still passing on the street so the cops have not cut the road as they said they did not prevent traffic from passing and the second thing is people running away from the military the military starts attacking and people are running away and you hear gunshots yes w what are your thoughts i cannot comment because the the film itself comment itself attacking from soldiers by stick and by shooting we can uh, hear the the shooting you can hear that very clearly yes, yes. and also you can see by our eyes with the stick it's easy and you see the protesters running away if yes you're, if you're going to attack somebody you run towards if they carry any weapons can use it why you didn't use it in fact, so far, yes. the military has not produced a single person who's killed, as they claim they have. Yes. Um, I want to go to an area which is the role of the Egyptian media, the state paid for, sponsored television that gets its directive and order. And people in the West might not understand this. In Egypt, the Egyptian TV, it's a public property. It's not a private property. There are no private channels like we have in the West. These are, this is a channel that's owned by the government, it's run by the government, it has a minister of information that give it directive on how to operate. So that TV had a major role in the killing of those protesters. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, I have seen also in the YouTube that uh, one of the uh, introducer, she said that, oh, help the army, because this demonstrator, the protester, tried to attack the army and they killed three soldiers and wounded some of about 12 or more, they wounded, help us. This was the presenter herself. Yes. This was a, uh, an individual that was paid for by the government to go and be impartial. It's paid for by the people, by the cops, by the Muslims, by everybody. And there was some other uh, calls into the TV station that night. One caller says there are 20 people died, 20 military, uh, uh, 12 uh, military soldiers been killed. And when the TV finally figured out there was 19 people that were killed. They said there were 19 fatalities. They did not say from which part. So it's still playing the role of inciting violence and hatred against Christians. There was another thing. A individual called and said, those Christians are burning the Quran outside. Go help the military. <laughs> Now, when we see videos, and we have a video, I hope that we can have it, or we can find on YouTube, those videos show the police, the military, and thugs standing next to them with uh, weapons and knives and running after the Christian protesters and shouting, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What do you think? What, what, what's your reaction? Where did these people come from? And how come the police and the military allowed them to stand next to them? and throw rocks at the protesters and run with knives after the protesters and beat them. There are many videos of them catching a Coptic protester under a bridge or in a corner and beating them to uh, almost senseless. Uh, of course, I admit it again, I don't know that the plan by the uh, army or it's happened suddenly, uh, suddenly that these people lay people came from uh, uh, area at Sri Murarak uh, behind the, the uh, Maspiro, uh, they came with uh, over the truck carrying w many weapons. I think they are uh, preparing for these people because day before at Saturday, some people phoned the priest. We have a priest, uh, his name Abu Ibrahim, that please tell your people don't to go to Masfiro because they are preparing some people with weapons, they will kill them. And Abu Ibrahim, he phoned some of these leaders 
He told them, they told them, no, uh, Abu Nabrim, no, 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 don't, don't worry. Maybe these people would like to uh, put some uh, encouragement or discouragement, discouragement. discouragement in our heart. Uh, this means uh, we will not obey uh, what you say, but we will go. That happens in Saturday. Then this preparing by some people. Who gathering these bad people? Who gathering? Who give them uh, these uh, weapons? In fact, this is not the first time those such people already have been used. Three months ago, Egyptian youth protesters wanted to go and protest outside of the military headquarters in Abbasiyah. On the way, similarly, another group of thugs met them, shot at them, fired, and tried to disperse these guys. And similarly, they were standing right next to the soldiers and the police. That leaves me to conclude, I'm not going to ask you to conclude this, but that leaves me to conclude that it has to be either the military or the police that paid for these thugs to come and stand next to them and hit the peaceful protesters. It doesn't give me any other explanation because it happens with the cops and it happens with the, youthful, uh, with the youth going from Tahrir to Abbasiyah to protest at the military headquarters. I think this, uh, by planning uh, of the uh, um, uh, some responsible, maybe not the highest responsible people, the heads, but maybe in other uh, grades. I think we have a, a YouTube clip uh, that shows the military armors running over the protesters. And uh, that is, uh, it's a scene you don't want to be, uh, have uh, small kids watching uh, this scene because it's uh, horrifying. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold. is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my savior from violent people. You save me. Uh, Your Grace, in the last clip it shows the, the protesters with no weapons. Nobody is running, everybody's running away. Uh, in fact, some people looked like they didn't think the military would run over them with tanks. They were taking it easy as they, as they crossed the street. Why do you think there was such a level of violence? Why did the military choose uh, this The first violence? time for the army to attack for the uh, Egyptian people. First time in my life to know. Even maybe in the life of the army also. Uh, uh, we all of the Egyptians are surprised about this action because we uh, always expect that the army help the people, not attack the people. They can attack the enemies, but attack the people is the first time in my life, maybe in, in the life also of our army here in Egypt. We all the Egyptians surprised Muslims and the Christians. The Egyptian media, its coverage of this was varying, but mostly everybody tried to pin this as the Christians went out to attack the army. Those who spoke of um, the opposite, army attacking the Christians, were very few, and until today, the army is preventing Coptic activists from speaking on TV. I was one of the people that three or four stations says, no, sorry, we cannot have you to clarify these issues. Uh, many other that happened to them. That did not even happen during the Mubarak regime. During the Mubarak regime, when incidents happened, people were generally allowed to go on TV. What, what, what is your reaction to the media coverage, and why is it so twisted? 
we don't forget that the media, uh, uh, official media, is the government media. I didn't like to have some people to attack the army or to make some speech uh, contra the army or facing the army. Uh, because we, uh, as Egyptians, we proud with the army. But how we can proud with the army and see this army attack to us and kill the Egyptian people? Egyptian army killed Egyptian people. How? The first time to see that and to uh, hear that we can watch in the, the television very bad views, very bad uh, films about the attacking by the armored and the, the weapons and uh, the, you can see some of these soldiers they uh, catch one of these protesters and start to beat him with a strong way heavily strong way um, doesn't that show you that there is a conspiracy that the Egyptian media especially the, the government owned media does not want the truth to be out in fact we have a CNN report that probably will show a whole different comparison between uh, the what happened and, and, and how it's almost similar to what happened on uh, January 28th during the, the first parts of the revolution. About 10 channels found me just in the demonstra demonstration itself and after that. Even today, some of the agencies, uh, Reuters from England, they would like to uh, have meeting with me uh, next Monday and I refused. Uh, another uh, German agency Spanish television and Al Jazeera and BBC and many of the channels try to contact with me. Uh, maybe they come or I can by phone uh, by many means, but I refused completely because I would like to keep the view of the army good. But how? How with these videos and with this? Uh, recorded messages by uh, photo and video announce what happens in Maspiro in this day, in this night. Very, very, very bad. Nobody can expect that. Today, if you um, talk to a simple Muslim on the street, you get the feeling that he still thinks that the Christians were the, aggressor, the aggressors. The Christians attacked. The Christians are the ones that beat the army. And that was made clear during the army press conference, which we'll talk about later. But that was used, the Egyptian media, the Egyptian TV was used to make this a fact. What is the impact on the future life between Muslims and Christians? And was it this the military trying to basically incite a sectarian violence in Egypt and make Muslims hate Christians when it lies directly through its media? Uh, yes, some of the uh, Muslims, uh, the influence of the uh, media, of the television especially, or and some newspaper announced that the Coptic attack to the army, of course, some of them, not uh, much, uh, started to feel that the Christians are very bad people. They attack to the army of the Egyptians of Egypt and many things. I knew from uh, our students in the, the schools that the neighbors and the friends in the school start to talk with them with very bad way, not the same. And also in the work, uh, in the offices, the same way. And in the streets, in the uh, transport uh, means, uh, the metro and buses. But we hope that the media will announce with the right way that this Christian is not bad. And maybe some of these people in the army have them with their own way order some of these soldiers to do that. Not the heads. I am sure not the heads. Because the heads would like to keep the army and uh, protect for the enemy, uh, 
uh, to the enemy uh, for uh, the Egyptians. But the army should ask these people who ordered the soldiers to shoot and to use the armor for the Christians. I hope if they would like to keep themselves respect by all the people all over the world to do that. And this is very good. If uh, any person in the church do uh, anything bad, we can say that this person is, ba is bad, he is doing uh, very bad, he talk uh, with bad way, we can announce that. And this, we are respect ourselves to announce that we are, have some people mistake. And it's very good. We hope. Thank you, Sayyidina. A quick break and we'll be right back. Stay with us.